My book got delivered. Time to make some changes in my life. Anyone else like the new book smell? This is me for, um, I don't know how long it's going to take me how to, re to read a book. One for the collection. <laughs> hey guys, I just finished watching <laughs> uh, too many movies in my life. I just finished reading the first chapter of The Slight Edge. Um, this one. Been so excited since I ordered it to get my hands on, uh, to get my hands into it and read it. Uh, the first chapter, it's called "The Beach Bum and the Millionaire." All right, straight off the bat, the first chapter, I've I've been able to relate to it. I've never been a millionaire or a beach bum, um, but they're more of like a um, metaphor, synonyms of. Uh, Someone who's sort of going the wrong direction, and uh, the millionaire is um, you have not just financially million like millionaire boys. It's like uh, being millionaire, have millions of joy, million of love, a million of just being abundant in um, in, in in what makes you happy. So that's what I've taken from it so far. Um, my relation to the beach bum and the millionaire is um, uh, for the last 10 years I've really taken um, no what's the word I'm thinking of um, I've had no concern for my health um, I've taken no care of my body I've just I've worked and all my money that I've made working I I just went out and spent it. I traveled. I've traveled extensively in the last 10 years. Um, filling up my passport. There's only a couple of pages left that was going to fill up in 2020. And then we couldn't travel. Um, so, but yeah, I did a lot of traveling. And even though I've taken good memories and good experiences out of all that stuff, it's really left um, a hole you know at the moment what i really i feel like i really need and it's uh, good health and um just financial stability and have uh something something to work towards so uh, i'm not working when i'm 80 if i if i even live that long because i'm that unhealthy so it's like a double entendre like um so i've taken uh in in in, the, in chapter one it um uh he mentions uh his day of disgust and I didn't have an actual day of disgust whereas um, it was more of a a few days and a, there was a few events and just a build up to what I thought what am I doing with myself um, it all started I think the first time uh, when I signed up to my sh employee share plan where I got shares in the company and I had no idea that they paid dividends and what no one's ever explained it to me. I never had no edu no financial education at all. I just knew make money, pay tax, tax returns, and that's it. But there was I didn't know about taking advantages of franking credits and blah blah all that stuff. But when I got I paid my first dividend in the bank account, I questioned was this and then. I started researching, 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 and I decided I'm going to start investing in the stock market. And after a while, um, with 
the FBI watching us on, uh, on our phones with all the cookies and the tracking, I uh, started popping up different, um, different uh, like financial stuff and uh, advertisements and videos and companies uh, related to what I've been searching for over, like it's about 12 months ago, over 12 months ago. And, um, and about property investing and rent investing. And it got explained to me by a guy that sort of came from a similar uh, background. And he didn't have like a dozen opportunities thrown at him at, at, at a young age. And he worked hard and whatnot. But he um, explained how to grow a property portfolio. And he made it sound so easy. And I've just been obsessed since then. And um, that was like my other day of disgust when I've realized um, I've been doing things wrong the whole time. And it only takes a few dollars a week. It's not like I have to give up my entire life uh, just to um, buy houses. I've only got one so far. <laughs> and that's uh, with the help of my wife too. She uh, contributes a lot. Um, and we've been slowly building up a, a uh, stock portfolio and we're hoping to have uh, at the second property. But yeah, I feel like I, I sort of sort of relate to um, to Jeff Olson. In his um, he used to be a, uh, he used to cut grass on the golf field and watch all these rich people and playing golf and they wouldn't work and they all and he's just like, what have I done wrong? And in the first chapter, he pretty much says the only thing we're doing wrong is that we give up uh, we don't we, we we're sitting between survival and failure and as soon as we come out get our heads up above water uh, after that survival line we sort of um, become complacent and lay 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 uh, pull back a bit and lay lay off our our, our journey our path what we're doing and until we sort of dip back into failure and our survival is to kick in again. You can't be a, a hit failure because then you, you're broke, you're starving, you're homeless, I've uh, got no roof, or whatever. Um, and then he just explains that you just do your little things consistently and just keep doing what you're doing to survive. Just do it well, and you'll become successful. And you. Uh, so I know I'm not much of a reader, so. I, I sort of um, took it like that anyway. Um, he's got in here some essential points to take from chapter one. Uh, I wrote them down, but my writing was terrible because I was working and writing it. Yeah, so he's point number one. He just says the the same activities that take us from failure to survival would also take us from survival to success if we just keep doing it. Which is like, how easy is that? Just keep doing what you're doing and you can become successful. Unless you're doing something really bad, then stop doing, stop doing that. Uh, you already know how to do everything that it will take to make you an outrageous success. All you have to do is keep doing the things that have gotten you this far. You have complete control over the direction that the rest of your life takes. And there is a beach bum and a millionaire inside each, <laughs> each one of us. What makes the difference in how things turn out? is what you do so I want to pop in a photo of beach bum <laughs> and I'll take a photo and I'll see if I can insert something here of, um, of uh, not a millionaire uh, <laughs> but I feel like I'm a millionaire in, in knowledge now like I've I was so uneducated in, in life that yeah, all I did was work, have fun, work, have fun, work, have fun, go places, do things and sure it's great. I've had the best adult life since I was an adult. But sometimes you just gotta to set goals and work towards them. And you can still do other things along the way. Like instead of having five holidays a year you can go on one holiday instead of eating out three, four times a week. Eat out once a week. 
I've just been um, and now that I'm I'm getting all healthy and stuff. Uh, there's not much eating out at all. A lot of the, because you just don't know what's been cooked in the dish that you're eating uh, most of the time. I've got the calorie counter, uh, and you can put in a few things, but it's real. It's either very generic or it's uh, too specific to something else, and you can't get the calories you want in that particular dish. And um, yeah, I'm just after this after this recording, I'm gonna be uh, reading the rest of chapter two, and I'm lost for words. I don't... <laughs> I have never done like a review, a book review. I've never talked about a book before, and I just hope my understanding of the book is uh, what is actually meant, because <laughs> everyone's interpretations are different, right? But yeah, this guy he. He went from beach bum, he moved to Florida, he was chilling on the, he had long curly hair, he was gorgeous George, or I think that was the name they, they called him, uh, he worked at the golf course, and then he went and became so successful when he realized what the hell, and he went and applied himself and graduated uh, his college, and when started a company, became a big joint manager, started his own business, and um, then he loses it all, which he talks about as well. Uh, that's another, another step. But so far, so good with this book. I think everyone needs to, anyone who's set goals in life, whether it be to have a family, to have houses, car, something nice. Like if you're setting a goal to save for something, for that job, that promotion, uh, you've got to you've got to read this book. My fish sleeping over there. <laughs> Sorry, you got to read this book. Just turning simple disciplines into massive success and happiness. Isn't that everyone's dream? Alright, so if you guys want a copy, I want to put a link in the description. Click the link and you can uh, you can get your own. They deliver, they're pretty quick with the deliveries. I think this took a few days. Just regular post, it wasn't an uh, express or anything. And with this 8th edition, they put in two extra chapters. I can't remember, they, they mentioned it in the, the preface. Um, it's two extra chapters that were included in the original book, and they also include uh, is the word anecdotes, uh, people's uh, experiences with the book and what it's done in their lives and how they've used the book to influence other people's lives. So yeah, get the book, click the link, buy the book. You need it. Alright, guys, don't forget like. Subscribe and even dislike it. I don't mind. Just give me the engagement. I need to know if people like my stuff. If people don't like my stuff, put a comment in there, and uh, I'll get back when I have a couple more chapters. <laughs>